Get this figure and more at the Big Bad Toy Store. Links in the description. <laughs>
not need to see that. And this allows you to pop off his face and replace it with any of the two alternate faces, which are all beautifully sculpted and full of personality. And just for fun, here's a crown. The crown is not included with the figure. This one came from the MP11, which for all intents and purposes doesn't exist. And while we're here, I gotta mention that the ball joint on this guy's head is pretty tight, which makes it kind of hard to do the thing, but I'll do my best. He can look up and down. Previously mentioned tight shoulder rack shit allows for 360 degree rotation. Shoulder pad can move out and the arm cannons, the no raise, I know what it's called, you son of a bitch. They are on struts, which allows them to extend. Hinge joint here and some of that. Hinge joint here. Arm can move out. Bicep swivel. Bend at the elbow. There is a wrist swivel, but this arm guard gets in the way. But if you really wanted it, which I do, you can open up this arm flap and there you go. Ball joint at the thumb, ball joint at the index finger, and the rest of the three fingers are connected to one ball joint. And a hinge joint, hinge joint. Chest crunch, waist swivel. And to unlock the waist swivel's true potential, you can flip up these cannons. Ba bam! Rotation at the leg, can't move back that far. Beautiful spread, a ratcheted thigh swivel. Bend at the knee, up and down at the ankle, and a pivot. Posability on this figure is fantastic. That engineering on the torso is just mwah! kind of disappointing that it took an unlicensed third party company to do a better articulation job than Hasbro ever did. Maybe you should have spent your resources on that instead of making him bigger and giving him lights and sounds and making him fight God. Those are moons! And speaking of big, here's some size comparisons. Here's Monica Godzilla Prime, Crumple Zone, and the Make Toys Howling Meteor. Of course, I prefer the aesthetics of the Howling Meteor, but that's only because I'm a G1 slut. <laughs> The Galaxy Meteor's robot mode is not too shabby, but this being a Transformers review, let's explore the reason for this cockpit. And to bring that head back up, there's this lever here that you can just... Eh. And these calves are spring-loaded. To bring them back up, there's this button at the front. Ooh. And the jet mode looks great, if a little simple. And that simplicity of the design makes the complex transformation a little frustrating at first, but then you remember the amazing posability in robot mode and that complexity makes sense. Just like the original toy, it does not resemble a real jet. Honestly, Transformers Cybertron was purely a toy commercial. All of the designs were specifically made to be cool looking toys, but that toyetic quality, is that a real word? is charming. Not to mention it avoids the problem of kibble because the whole thing is practically a piece of kibble. Except the gun that stands out like a sore thumb. <laughs> that looks a lot better actually. Now I just want to whoosh it around. Oh. The price you pay for a chest crunch. Well, there are these two tabs here that's supposed to keep everything in place, but they, they don't work. I mean, Jesus, among all the brilliant engineering on this guy, these tabs are, they're like transforming Gundam level of bad. Oh! Got him, dude. Did you say Gundam? Did you Gundam? <laughs> Fuck off. Besides this little problem, everything else fits together nice and... Except the Cyber Planet key, of course, the key still doesn't work, but the swords do! The Null Rays can still do that. Can it still move? And these tiny plastic wheels at the bottom of the figure allow it to roll right into the size comparison. Monica Godzilla Prime, Howling Meteor, and Crumple Zone. God damn it, Make Toys did such a good job with this figure that they look like they're part of the same line. Overall, this figure's amazing. I highly recommend this figure to Transformers, Cybertron fans, or anyone who remembers it. Yes, this thing is a bit of a nostalgia piece, but Make Toys went all the way with it. And if you wanted one for yourself, why don't you get it at the... <laughs> it is a bit pricey, but compared to other third-party Transformers figures, this thing is a goddamn Voyager class. And if you're looking for a highly articulated Transformers, Cybertron Starscream is worth it. So if you liked the video, give me a like, leave a comment if you want to. I actually went through the comment section of the last video and it did not make me want to die. So a genuine thank you for the support. Shot, Optimus Prime, transform and 
I fucking sucked at that scene. <laughs> Two chains!